need to always go where the crowds are. How is seafood in China so cheap and diverse? Believe it or not, China is the world's largest consumer and producer of fish. To feed this fish addiction, aquaculture, the farming of fish in ponds, lakes, and tanks has boomed across the country in the last 25 years and transformed China into the fastest growing fish exporter to the United States. Like Song Jianguo, hundreds of fish farmers who reside along China's coastal waters work overnight, seizing the best opportunity to catch fish. The next day, they ship to the market, both domestic and international. Song and his family have been running fish farms for over a decade in Ningde, China's southeast Fujian province, also the epic center of the yellow crocker industry, accounting for nearly 75% of the country's total output. Floating nets interconnected by wooden planks that serve as walkways act as enclosures to raise seafood like shrimp, oysters, and fish. This used to be a sea where natural resources were consumed to its limit until 1985 when someone had an idea. <laughs> Thanks to Liu, fish farming is now available in China. In 2018, the overall production of the yellow crocker in China reached 180,000 tons. In Ningde alone, 140,000 tons were produced. China has more than 4.5 million fish farmers, producing nearly two-thirds of the world's cultured seafood, according to the country's Fisheries Bureau. China consumes on average 65 million tons of seafood, with over 50 million coming from these floating farms. Currently, the local government has offered to help change wooden planks into plastic ones to avoid extra costs due to damage done by typhoons. The boom did more than just create jobs. It made China the only country to produce more seafood in fish farms than at sea. It also helped feed an increasingly prosperous population, a long-standing challenge in China. <laughs>